Hey, it's a teen rom-com on Netflix. Hello, Goodbye, and Everything in Between has a bit of a unique premise, and it's now streaming, but is it even worth the time? After making a pact to break up before college, Claire and Aiden retrace the steps of their relationship on one last epic date, revisiting familiar and unexpected places as they question whether to stay together or say goodbye forever. So I'm a fan of rom-coms, and because I look to them for a bit of fantastical escapism, I really like them to be happy. I'm not necessarily looking for reality, but there are times where we get some romantic comedies that just don't end on a high note, where maybe the couple doesn't get together, or maybe love just it's not finally attained. There are a few of those that come to mind, like La La Land or 500 Days of Summer. I mean, the endings of those just don't make me want to rewatch them. So it's a very interesting premise for this new Netflix movie that's based on a book by Jennifer E. Smith. From the very beginning, we meet our two main characters, Claire and Aiden. Now, we're told that Claire doesn't want a relationship, that if they were to get together once the 10 months until graduation are up, so is their relationship. I mean, this means that we're going to spend the story potentially watching two characters dive headlong into love, only to race towards its demise willingly, or at least knowingly. The first part of the story quickly establishes the relationship with just a montage of actions where the couples are they're going to events, spending time together, and sometimes making out. Now these go by in pretty quick succession with title cards for months that are overlaid on top of the scenes. We can see that they connect and they really make a great couple. And then the real story begins on their last day together, the day before Claire leaves for school, and also the date that they agreed when they would break up. Now, Aiden has planned one epic date night filled with events that he hopes is going to make Claire want to remain with him, at least relationally. The story is predictable, and the small events the couple goes on as part of their final date are somewhat obvious, but the characters have some really good chemistry and banter, which I really love then watching them together. The softy in me wants to see them work out, even though the whole time I know that there's this looming dread of the breakup just hanging over the story. The look they have for each other, it's really convincing, drawing me into the romance. There's also some minor humor that's infused through a lot of this. Now, not only do Claire and Aiden have fun together, but they each have a best friend who provides some levity, but then also some great pointed wisdom. I love the honesty that they share, but it's not mean-spirited or harsh. It just comes across as genuine care and concern. I really enjoyed the dynamic between the two as they sort of clash with their ideals for the relationship. We know they made the agreement that it would end before even beginning, but to see the expectant or guarded looks in Aiden and Claire's eyes set up some good story conflict. And it's not explosive or uncomfortable conflict. I mean, it's just the kind that creates some tension and then makes the character journeys more engaging. Sometimes romantic comedies try to pack too much in and they overstay their welcome, but this one airs on the side of almost being too short at just 82 minutes. Now, I don't think we end up missing anything in the narrative because the main portion of the story just takes place in one day. The pace is pretty quick, but it's not so fast where I feel like I have zero clues to what's going on. I'm also able to become invested in a relationship, or at least their outcome, so the quickness is not too much of a detriment. Plus, it doesn't drag, which would be worse. Now, I loved the soundtrack in this, with a ton of pop songs playing throughout to just continue the lighthearted and fun vibe of the story. From a technical aspect, this is pretty much run-of-the-mill standard. Eh, there's nothing that stands out as awesome or unique. But that being said, there's nothing in the filmmaking that is poorly executed or cheap-looking. I mean, the lighting, I liked. It's effective at creating some quiet intimacy, which then matched the moods nicely. There's this portion towards the end where Claire is alone in her room, and just the warm tones of the lights, I thought they looked great. I mean, it's not something I typically take note of, but because this was more of an emotional and then contemplative scene, the warmth of the yellowish-orange glow just from the lamps around her, it helped to soften it all. Now, I think from a story standpoint, this has a decent resolution. I mean, I appreciate the tone in which the movie concludes on. Now, it is a bit predictable, but again, this is a rom-com where I'm hoping for predictability in that romance area. This does fall into the same storytelling flow where we know what the narrative beats are going to be before they arrive, and we can tell at which order they're going to arrive too. But even in that, the heart of the story is sweet and it's hopeful. I love too that our main characters aren't trash people. I mean, sure, they have flaws, but they're redeemable and it's easy to overlook the shortcomings because they're minor in the grand scheme of the storytelling. So overall, Hello, Goodbye, and Everything in Between is a sweet and simple rom-com that doesn't give us too many surprises, but within the obviousness and the predictability, it's able to craft a story that's endearing, humorous, and optimistic. While we may not spend much time establishing the relationship between Claire and Aiden, we see enough to show how they're connecting and relating, which also then makes them a believable couple. The pace is quick, but the movie's short, so the pace isn't so fast that it keeps the story from making sense or feeling complete. 
And while the filmmaking itself isn't groundbreaking or unique, the soundtrack is wonderful. And I really enjoyed a lot of the lighting techniques that were employed to just reinforce the tone of the scenes. This is a great casual watch and one that I think will suck you in and then put a smile on your face. There's no sex or nudity, some profanity, not really any violence. I give hello, goodbye, and everything in between three and a half out of five couches. Are there any good rom-coms that you've seen recently that you can recommend? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this review, please give it a like. Also, don't forget to share and subscribe. I'm Chris. This is Movies and Munchies. Thanks for couching with me.